We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. I have to. <laughs> when I read in the paper that Cassandra Benedict was alive and well, I thought, free at last, free at last, great God Almighty, what's wrong? It's too soon, darling. The police had no business letting you go yet. Why not? You've been proven innocent. Who else is after you? Derek Griffin. The man is totally unbalanced, heavily armed, and he's still out there. You're taking a terrible chance. I've only come here to grab a few belongings. I've, I've got a long trip ahead of me, Alfred, and with any luck, I'll wake up in another country. Alfred, would you, would you consider coming with me? Is that really what you want? <laughs> We've been together a long, long time. There are others who can manage your household for you. Alfred, there's not one of them I call a friend. After everything that's happened, I hardly think that term applies to me. Oh, I think you should let me be the judge of that, Alfred. No, I'd, I'd just hold you back. I'm sorry for being so harsh with you, Alfred. I... <laughs> I realize only now that you're trying to stop me from hurting myself. Yes, and I failed. You're a wanted man now. The police came here a few hours ago, and they're sure to come back. Don't have any time to spare. <sighs> Won't come with me. Would you do me one last request, Alfred? Just for old time's sake. If I can. Cassandra, would you? I've just got to say goodbye to her, Alfred. Would you see if you could find her for me? Please.